Oh, well, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, we will be creating ourselves a sim. So, uh, we are going to be creating a sim for our Star Wars series. If you guys missed it, we're going to be using Kane for our um, first order story route. So he's going to be the buddy. We are going to be using Valeria for the resistance story route. So she is going to be like the hero, which leaves uh, the smuggler route. And I was thinking for the smuggler route, that we would, I wanted to create in kind of a little bit in honor of um, another sci-fi series, which is Firefly. I wanted to make a spunky kind of like uh, engineer brainy, but also kind of cheeky and in a bag. I know like a, a gang of wrong uns, which is uh, Kaylee, is it Kaylee? Chat, is it Kaylee? From Firefly, uh, so she was pretty shiny, so uh, that was a term that she used all the time. So I thought we would have a go at doing that in today's episode. So I'm just gonna be starting with the sim completely from scratch, and we're just gonna be trying making ourselves a little bit of a smuggler. Now, I want the sim to look different. It's not gonna be genetically related to any of my other sims, which is, can we give her tattoos? Yes, we can. Um, which is always um, nice because my sims are always, always related to each other. So, um, which are my newest skin tones? Are these the ones with the... Have you got any? I'm trying to find the ones that don't have the pixelation because a lot of my skin tones, unfortunately, I actually need to get some more because you guys have been linking me to a new one that looks really, really good. So I need to, yeah, that they, you see these ones. Pixelation, pixelation problems. The Resolver has just gifted five of you guys a peachy subscription. Is this music at an okay volume, by the way? I'll catch up on the rest of the messages in a bit. I just want to say thank you to the Resolver. You're always here. You're always gifting. Can we get some hearts in the chat for the Resolver? Because they have given so many of you guys a peachy subscription now. Thank you so, so much for always being here. You are amazing. Okay, um, let me have a look. I kind of like these ones because they give, um, I'm kind of thinking like this sort of vibes because I like that it gives a little bit of a shine. I think the shine is cute. The music is a bit loud for me, no problem. Let me nip into here and just switch. Actually, I know what I'll do, I'll switch it down this way. Just a little bit down. Let me know if that's a little bit better. Um, and then I'm gonna keep this here because my microphone's had a bit of a problem with cutting out recently. Um, so yeah, let me kind of thinking what well, these ones I always just put like a basis because I'm gonna use eyes Ooh, they're pretty I'm gonna be using eyes from uh, my makeup section instead as a face paint because I think all of my best eyes are hanging out here um, and in my head I actually kind of had like a medium skin toned with green eye vibe that is what I was thinking because uh, I think that is a cute mood something like that but then I'm kind of aware that that is similar to Valeria's eyes. And it is space. So I feel like we can kind of have maybe a little bit of fun with the eye color. We could do anything with the eye color. Hydrate, thank you. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay. I'm also kind of in my head trying to keep a little bit of an idea of Kaylee. Although I think in terms of the general idea, I want to make her like Kaylee from, um, Firefly, but I actually kind of want to make my own character. I want to, I also want to kind of do my own thing. So yeah, those are the eyes that I use on um, Prim. But yeah, I just have a little vibe that I want to do in my head for her. Kind of like these ones. I'm gonna be messing with her face as well. This is just like the default face, but I just like throwing on a few little bits just to, just to get me going. Just to kind of get me going. Um, gray eyes. What color does Valeria have? Gray eyes, though. I do like the idea of gray eyes, but if Valeria has them, I don't want to give her the same eye color as Valeria. Kane has pink eyes, so we kind of already got like fun eye colors covered. But yeah, she does live in space. I feel like this person, although the are other two are from my sim world, but this is like a full lives in space kind of sim. So I feel like you can kind of have a little bit of fun with the eye color. Do something that maybe you couldn't do back on Earth. They're pretty. Um, Claire, you need a timer so we know what you're like in cast. What, in terms of how long it takes me to make a sim? It takes me a very long time. Crazy eye squad, purple hair, white eyes. I don't have any like pure white eyes. 
I still want her to look like she's human and not an alien, because don't forget we will have aliens now. But there's no reason why she couldn't have some, you know, slightly modified eyes. That could be uh, kind of cool. And I think the first episode I will like focus on um, all three of them. But then maybe in some of the other episodes we go a little bit more focused on like one of them than the other. Maybe we could do heterochromia. It's true, but I don't have many good heterochromia parents nowadays, which sucks. Ooh. Gosh, I've not used these eyes in a while. I do like these eyes. They're very green. They're kind of a bit of both. I might just leave her on those for now, but I want to I wanna use some, like, of my custom eyes, maybe. Hmm. I always think if I just try to use custom eyes, then at least she'll look a little bit different to, like, my other sim, like, the sims that the game generates, because I don't think it ever uses, like, custom eyes. But then I also think the lines on those eyes are very harsh. I'm unfortunately, well, it's like 10 to 4. They're starting at like quarter past 4. So I thought I was going to get to spend loads of time on this sim. Um, but I actually don't think I'm going to get to spend loads of time on this sim, which sucks! Because I did want to spend like way longer and have like a little bit more fun with them. But I don't know if I'm going to have time. No. I might have to join like the second game in or something. Posture check. Thank you. Thank you. Um, could she wear a hij hijab? Am I saying that right? Let me know if that pronunciation is right. Um, you guys do want the heterochromia eyes. Um, there is like um, a shawl that actually comes with the Star Wars park. I can't put it on now though, because the Star Wars park, uh, I don't, I don't obviously have it installed on my main game because it's not out yet. So I can't like really use it until um, we like the, the whole game comes out. So yeah, sorry, I'm still just messing with her. Honestly, when it comes to cast, I am slightly lazy. I kind of like to just like rely on um, the skin details doing all the hard work for me. Because let's face it, it changes the whole face. So at some point I was just like, well, what is the point? What is the point of me trying so hard when the, uh, the game just ends up doing everything with skin details? I want us to have a wider nose, but just at the end. And... Like a little, like, curvy tip I thought would be kind of cute. I wanted to have, like, a bit of a cheeky face as well. Sorry, I'm getting very, very into my side profile. Her irises are quite big. That might be the eyes that I'm using. Should I make them a little bit smaller? A little bit more realistic looking? Her entire- actually, I think her eyes are very big. I don't know if I like her eyes anymore. Should make her face a bit longer. Whenever I'm like, I get the opportunity to add like new uh, DNA as well, I'm like, okay. Has to have chins because my sims don't have chins. So if we're adding new DNA, um, I would like chins. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep editing her face, but I want to throw on some skin details um, because that just changes everything. So I kind of want to know what I'm working with. And also my timings for this are like super not really where I wanted them to be. Oh, they're cute lips. Uh, I wanted to be able to spend way more time on this, um, but I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs> I'm just not gonna have enough time, which sucks. Oh my gosh, it's five to, five to four already. It's five to four. Um, also, I'm gonna like dress her and then straight away, all of her clothes will be replaced by like Star Wars clothes because she's gonna be permanently in Star Wars world. So I don't know if there's that much point actually in dressing her. I don't know if there is. <laughs> Which is okay in a way, because then maybe we can just focus. Where did I just get that cool skin from that I just then took off her? Um, maybe we can just focus more on Cass instead. Vibey music though. Where was that cute? I just gave her some cute skin. Oh, what? Is that from Realm of Magic? I've never seen that before. 
It's like boils and stuff. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. What is this skin? Oh, some little frecks and stuff. I really, really like the way that this skin, this V skin, I love what it does to lips. So I find it very hard to like move away from that skin, which I know is a little bit boring, but I do just like that skin a lot. That's quite realism on the body, but I don't know if it's a little bit overly real. Um, where was the other one I was trying out? No idea where that one's gone. Um, sorry, I'm messing around loads with this, aren't I? I kind of like the little changes a collarbone a little bit. But now she's got two collarbones. Okay, not that. But I don't want this. I don't want this. Um... Can she have a scar? Claire, you missed a Korean lesson. If we do a Korean lesson, it's gonna have to be in between Among Us games. Um, I will remember, I'll try to remember. Just because I'm really struggling with times today. I wanna get this uh, similar arena finished. I'm not gonna be able to spend as much time on her as I wanted, which sucks, cause uh, I did wanna spend, invest a little bit of time in this one. Now she's meant to look tough. Like young, but like tough. Like she could be a little, a little, um, Smuggler, you know? Smuggler vibes. Smuggling around. Oh, I like that nose on her. Oh, she's cute. Who would you guys prefer that she ends up meeting? Valeria or Kane? Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of down for either, to be honest. I think they're both kind of vibey. I think it'd be cool with either. I could give her some under eyelids. Does that do anything? Mm, not much. She's kind of already got it with the skin, so that's okay. And then there's this Vincent skin. How does that change? Mm. Um, Kane, because she's a smuggler. That would actually be, that would make sense. That would make the most sense, I think. I kind of want to give her a little freck. Although, what's this? Oh, that's a skin overlay. Hmm, I like that as well, though. Hmm. That or a freck? I think it's gotta be that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Like I said, I'm rushing this one, guys. I add frecks to everybody, so I'm gonna resist on the frecks. You know how hard this is for me. You know how difficult it is for me to resist the frecks. I love I love a bit of freckage, um, but I am gonna resist on the frecks. Give her a little bit of a glow. And let us move into throwing some lashes on her. Um, some glasses lashes. Um, what's happening? We're making a sim for my Star Wars series. We're making ourselves a little smuggler. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna go fairly low makeup on her because like, I feel like if you're a smuggler, you're probably like, I, don't, I kind of, I, in my head, she's got like grease on her face. I'm like, it's more of that kind of vibe. So I think more like, you know, uncurled eyelashes just like without any makeups on them. And then, if I've got any makeup that looks more like a smudge or something, I think I'd rather go for that instead. I want her to look like a little bit like rough around the edges, but in a fun way. Um, although I do like the eyeliner that does the little... I do like that. Kind of, it makes her, I don't know, it kind of gives her a bit of a stronger face. So maybe we just do a little bit of... So she looks a little bit spacey in my head. For some reason, eyeliner is now spacey. Look at me just making decisions then going back on them immediately. But I just think a little spacey look could be kind of cool. Makeup's different in space, you know? Hmm, I like that. Or blue. I'm gonna go for yellow for now. It's kind of full, cool. Please give her a scar. Okay, scars, scars, scars. Brow scars. I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see- Oh, look. You can't see them because of my um, skin details. See if any of these go on stronger. I might have some scars that I can like give her on, on the tattoo section. Yeah, look, you can barely see these, which is such a shame. Okay, let me check the tattoo section. What time are we on? Ah! 4 p.m. We're rushing. There's smudgy face paint in Get Famous. Okay, good to know. Should we check her teeth is? I might stick with, cause I'm always like, should I go more realistic? Yeah, let's go for realism teeth on her. And then I just want to give her some little cheekies. Little cheeky cheeks. Um, 
Got these that kind of make it look like she's maybe been in a bit of a scrap on her lips. Yeah, look, look, look. Like she's, you know, she's a smuggler. Smuggling's a dangerous job. Sometimes you're going to come out like a little bit worse for wear. Uh, you guys are saying purple eyes. G just went live, no pressure. <gasps> uh, yeah, I want it to make it look like she's been in a few scraps. So there we go. I'm going to give her a little, little cut on a lip. Um, and then if I put lips on, is it going to mess with that cut? Let's find out. Although I don't think lip gloss is right. Maybe more like chopped lips. But then I kind of... No, none of these are quite the right skin color, are they? No, I kind of like her default lips because I love those two lines. I'll never get bored of those two lines. You guys are saying purple eyes. I kind of like the idea that her ears stick out a lot to the front as well. I think that's really cute. Like, little sticky out ears. Um, purple eyes. Who did we give these eyes to? Somebody has purple eyes. Can't really remember who, though. Um... What do you guys reckon? That or the eyes she had before? I might- if I'm gonna go for different eyes, I will make her eyes bigger. Palm! Yeah, it was palm. What do you guys think of those? Purple's cute. Uh, Klaus, I was wondering if you could really represent very muscular, as that is never represented in Sims. You know who? Actually, I did have very muscular in. You know my BitLife series? My BitLife character had maximum muscle. She was maximum muscle for the entirety of that um, series, more or less. So, yeah. Uh, the makeup doesn't fit her eyes. Yeah, I was totally agreeing with that. Um... Orange goes quite well, though. She's cool, I think. Should I make her face a bit wider? I think she's cool. Uh, she's really cool. Okay. What kind of hair were you guys thinking? Um, you say make her eyes more violet-y than dark. I think her eyes look kind of spacey, though. I don't know. They've got a spacey vibe to them. Uh, I, oh, why do I click on that hair first every single time? There's actually been a bunch of new hairs out that I'm meant to download, but I don't think I have them yet. I don't think a hair should look too sculpted. I think it should look kind of like... like hair that's not gonna get in her way too much. Um... Oh wow, well, look, that's like cut in half. <laughs> um, hair that's just like... had not had loads of energy and time put into it. Uh, I will catch up on your messages, by the way, once we finished her. That's cool, but I don't really like the. T I don't love the texture. Hmm. Oh no, don't have that one. Oops. Ooh, I downloaded some new hairs from this creator as well, but I don't have them in the game yet because for some reason I didn't add them to my mods folder. You guys are saying a shorter hairstyle. Let me get rid of the feminine thing so we can get a little bit more views on her. Ooh. This is kind of cool. Trying to work out which hair colour looks best on her. Kind of vibing like maybe one darker. That looks- that is that is a cute look on her. I think that's a really cute look. Uh, I'm gonna catch up on your sub gifts and stuff by the way. I like that. But I really like that hair. Um, let's see what else we got. Try not to go for the ones that- ooh. Ooh! Shaved sides! Save shaved sides is a vibe. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think of that? Ah! I love her! I've not done her body yet, I've got to do her body yet. If anyone's keeping an eye on G's stream, um, please let me know. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm just gonna let them know. Okay, um, okay, sorry. I feel like we need piercings. I love her so much. I love her so, so much. Okay. Um, 
Oh wow, cheek, cheek piercings. I've never done that before. It's not quite like it's floating a little bit. Oh no, it's, it's the piercing. I don't know, I kind of am digging that. What do you guys think? <laughs> She's so cool. She's so cool. This is like, um, I used this on my challenge. It was actually recommended to me by Rulster. I can never say um, their name, but they make amazing sims. It's actually for deaf sims. However, I won't be able to represent deaf gameplay because the game won't support it. So like, as in the sim will still listen and talk, which is um, like, it's just not in the game to be um, deaf, which sucks. Cause I think it would be a really cool thing to add. Um, but I just wouldn't do it justice. There's no way for me to do it justice in game. And I almost think that is like worse than just like, like not doing it at all is doing it like stuff badly. So what do you guys think? Uh, I might give her a spacesuit until I can get the Star Wars stuff. Actually, that kind of makes sense. I just wanted to have like a cool edgy look. She's a edgelord. Um, something a bit spacey. I want to date her. I want to date her too. This is my problem. I, I just literally just make Sims. It's like me making my type for 25 minutes straight every single time. I kind of think just a more low key septum looks better. And I also think, I don't know, space, maybe space jewelry tends to be like more vibey colors, you know? So I think I'm gonna go for like this, like red on them all. Cause I think it's kind of cool. It's space jewelry, okay. Um, where was the other one I put on there? I've lost it. I wish it was more obvious what you were wearing. Like when I scroll here, I find it very hard to see the green box. Oh, it's because they've gone. Her thingies have gone. Oh, that's annoying. Where were they? She meant to have that. Oh, maybe I can't do that on the septum. They might sit on the same one. Yeah, they do. Okay, I'm going for septum. Um, she looks so badass. She does. Uh, the cheek pieces look weird. Yeah, but she's kind of meant to be a bit like, I don't know, a little bit baddie. I've got this like glowing one as well. But I can't do it in the right color. Nah, I prefer the other one. I'm sorry. Are any of you guys keeping an eye on G's stream? Is she, uh, <laughs> is she getting close to playtime? Please let me know. I love her. She looks like an engineer on a ship. I think so anyway. Um, but lip piercing, okay. Should, we've gone very like symmetrical for all the others. Should I do the lip piercing in the middle? Or should I do it um, as a side piercing? Actually, I don't think I've got any middle lip piercings. So yeah, I don't, unless I did one at each side. So like that, snake bites. I kind of feel like that's too much. I like the cheek piercings, they would look better if she had dimples. I can check out dimples as well. I am all, I would never get my cheeks pierced because I have dimples and I think that the piercing would um, destroy the muscle that creates the dimples. So I'd be worried that if I got my cheeks pierced, I would lose my dimples. Um, okay, let me just do something real quick. There we go. Okay, dimples, dimples, dimples are here. Oh no, it takes something off her. Oh, it takes something off her if I add dimples. Oh no, I won't be able to add the dimples because they're on the same layer as something else. I thought I had two dimple overlays. Oh, I really like that, but again, it's taking something off her and I don't want to do that. Do I have a little, I think I've got a little plaster over the nose. Claire, what are we doing today? G has, G has not started. G has started, no pressure, oh my gosh. I know she's trying to gather people together. I've said I've said in um, a group that I'm playing. I just want to get this lady finished because I really like her. Where's the plaster on the nose? Panic stations. Ah! Okay, there's, I've got a thing that's like, oh. I mean, that is kind of wild, but it kind of also looks sort of cool and spacey. I know it's taken something else off, but 
She's a smuggler. I like the idea that she's got this badass scar. Would you guys prefer that in red or gray? I'm gonna do a poll. One is more fresh than the other. Okay, we'll just do a quick one minute poll. Can you guys see the poll? Where is my poll gone? I need to add that. Yeah, I've lost my poll. Clyde, calm yourself. You can't see a thing. You're just stressing. You're just stressing your little butts out. Where is my poll overlay? Alert box. <gasps> Where is Paul? I can't find a Paul. Aussie Romantic, hi! How are you doing? I've not seen your little beautiful name in the, my chat for a while. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've recovered all well. I'm trying to find a Paul, but I can't find it because I'm panicking. And when I panic, my eyes stop working. Where is Paul? Give me a give me a hot sec. Let me go back to face calm because I think the, there's a poll here. Visual poll. Wow. Okay, there we go. There, okay, the poll should be on screen now. There we go. That was so stressful. Wow. Aussie, thank you so much for gifting subs. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you so so much. Everybody else's message. I will be catching up. Don't worry. I have a lot of downtime when I play um, um, Among Us because I die a lot. So I will catch up on your messages there. So make sure you stick around. There we go. Um, gray, you guys like the gray scar. Okay, there we go. Gray. I love that though. I'm gonna go for the strongest version. This is like the clearest one, but that one has the most shadow around it. Let's go for that one. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, I've not finished on a piercings, had I? Obviously, <laughs> obviously. And I'm gonna tattoo her as well. Um, lippy lippy loose. Also ears, I need her ears too. I kind of, I wish I could do a middle lip piercing, but because I can't, it's making me not want to do any. Let me just put some ears on her real quick. Does that kind of balance out her hair in a cool way? Would that be forever catching on her cheek piercing? No, I'm, let's take it down a notch, Claire. Take it down a notch. Um, I do like the idea of balancing out her hair, though, with like a piercing on the other side. Um, wait, where's that just gone? <gasps> oh, I love that. Where's the other version of that? The other version of that would be perfect. It's called Try My Look by P P P uh, Prawline. You guys just tweeted me actually that Prawline has released a bunch of like um, K-pop inspired. There we go. Is that it? Yeah. K-pop inspired uh, jewelry, which looks really cool. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Okay, should we get on to the rest of her? Because we could be here all day. So, um, I kind of want to make her like a little bit more like curvy. Like this kind of a vibe. And also, I'm going to push her muscle up a little bit because she is like a, um, she's like... Um, a smuggler, so she's got to be able to like look after herself. Does her head look really small now though? I don't know. Does her head look kind of small? But yeah, I want her to like look sort of tough. Like she can like hold her own in a fight. Like, because she's a smuggler, like she's got to be tough, hasn't she? What do you guys think? I want her to look like she can like run around a ship, like doing all the work that she needs to do. Run away when she's like stolen stuff and like people are chasing her. Um, so yeah, like that is kind of what I'm thinking. Give her a big booty. I've given her a big booty. I've given her a smaller waist. I'm gonna push her muscle up a bit. Actually, I like the way she looked more like here, kind of like equal. I'm thinking like that. Um, make her a bit shorter. Do I do that on here? There we go. She's looking cool. I really wish I had the Star Wars stuff already. Like, so I could put her, those clothes on her. But I think for now, she's just gonna have to have space clothes. Actually, maybe you can- oh no, you can't, look. I want the Star Wars clothes! Ah! I really want Star Wars clothes to put on her. Claire, they're playing! Okay. Okay, I will join them soon. I will join them soon. 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna join them soon, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna be playing some Among Us very soon. I think, is there any other clothes that kind of look like space vibes? The only other thing I've got is the Fallout suit. Oh wait, I've got like, oh my gosh. Why is she a whole freaking vibe? Why is she a whole freaking vibe? Like what? Oh my gosh, I love this. She looks like a spa- Imagine the guns are like laser but guns, not actual gun guns, you know? Yeah, you have to choose this outfit. I love this outfit. Anytime, like, you put this outfit on a sim. I'm not usually one for people in uniform, like, not really like, that isn't my vibe. But something about this outfit on sims, it's just like, I think it's all the straps and stuff. It's just really cool. And I love the boots. She does look like a smuggler, but right now she kind of looks more like the security than like the smuggler, doesn't she? Um, I thought I had another one. Another one of these kind of vibe outfits that maybe was a little bit less security vibes. No, I don't have this. <laughs> I don't have anything smuggler-esque. Um, no, I don't have any smuggler clothes. Why is there no smuggler ready clothes? I think we'll leave her here for now. But I think she's a whole vibe. So we're gonna call her Cecile. And then we need like a, should I call her Cecile solo? Like as in a little bit of a um, nod to Han Solo. Cause I think that could be kind of cute. What do you guys think? I feel like honestly, I have a style with my Sims and she looks very similar to so many Sims that I've made. But I don't care, I like her. Ooh, we were gonna put tattoos on her, weren't we? Let me just check my tattoo options real quick. Q. Go on, get famous. What, for the scars and stuff? I don't think they're gonna go through my skin details, but I will check. Um, and let me just start putting a few, like, will these show on her? Come back to the front a sec. I don't think these are gonna show. Subtle scars. Oh no, they are! Yes, okay, she's already got one on her mouth. <gasps> one on the bridge of her nose, but she's already got one on the bridge of her nose. I don't think she needs another. Where's that one? That's on her cheek, but it's kind of over the one we've already got. I'm kind of looking for like one on her forehead. Forehead scar, where you at? Where you at, forehead scar? Ooh, the eye scar is kind of cool. Sorry, this, like, everyone's waiting for me to start this game of Among Us, and I'm like, let me scroll through every scar possibility, you know? Every scar possibility. Uh, tattoos as well. Yes, okay. Um, what kind of tattoos are we thinking, Gang Along? What are we thinking? Uh, I want, like, I don't want to have something that looks too earthy. Like, if we give her a tattoo, it should kind of have, like, a space vibe to it, you know? Like something that you wouldn't expect to find on planet Earth. A kind of tattoo you'd only get on Batu. Says the person that knows zero about um, Batu, but still. I kind of like, I like bands because this is the kind of tattoo I want to get one day. So I'm very drawn to the idea of bands. I like that. And I like that. I think that's kind of cool. Waist wider, please. Widen the waist a little bit. I think like that's a believable waist vibe though. I wanted her to have this hourglass curvy shape. I said that at the start. Can she be pan please? Yeah, oh, honestly, I kind of canon canonically make a lot of my, ooh, Scar. Make a lot of my, oh no, that's kind of an intense one though, isn't it? I make a lot of my Sims pan or bi. Mm, I don't like that one. It doesn't fit the aesthetic of the other ones as well. Um, what is another scar that, ooh. Take, okay, take my pain away. I was like, that's cool. It's like, take me away, but it's a little bit, I don't know, maybe a bit intense. Take my pain away. I don't, I don't want to be to take my pain away. Um, a genetic truth, like thing on her back is kind of a vibe. Like a gold. No, I like the idea of going black. But I did want an arm tattoo. What if she had tattoos from loads of different planets? That would be really cool. However, I don't have a CC for that. Um, that's kind of cool. Oh, like, uh, most of them are hidden. That is a lot of tattoos. Do you guys like that one? Let me know what you think. 
What do you think? There's a lot of tattoos. It's kind of cool though. Although now the back one's been messed up, so I'd have to take the back one off. I thought, oh look, I've got this one with the planet. I do have some like planet tattoos. Actually, I have a lot of space tattoos. Okay, new idea, new idea. Sorry, I know I'm flip-flopping like nobody's business here. But I've got space tattoos from um, when I downloaded a bunch of stuff for Luna. Um, so, where is the other ones? Oh, please tell me you've got more than that. Now I've just taken off our other ones. <gasps> I'm running out of time! I really like that space tattoo, but it's the only one! So it's gonna look Oh no, there's an arm one. Hmm, are they a bit weird though? No, it's the same one over and over again. Sorry, I've changed my mind, I've changed my mind. I don't like it anymore, I don't like it anymore. Um. Well, that's kind of cool, but... I don't know, it's not the vibe I've got for her. She's not quite as like... I kind of feel like she's a bit younger and she's only just starting to get a few. Hmm, earthy, too earthy. That one doesn't show on her. You missed a bunch of other epic tattoos. Which other epic ones would you guys like? That one's kind of cool as well. Maybe she has the earth tattooed on her back because she's never been there. She's only ever heard about it and it sounds really cool. Oh, I kind of like that idea. Maybe she wants to go to Earth, but Earth's really far away, so she has to like save up a bunch of money. Maybe if she meets Kano Valeria though, they could take her back to Earth. See, 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 kind of got a vibe going on. Ooh, and a burb. What about a little burb? Put them on later. <laughs> I think I wanted a bigger arm tattoo so you'd be able to see it when she had her sleeves down, but I don't, none of them feel right. None of them really feel right for her, so I don't want to just put one on it just for the sake of it. I want it to have like the right vibe. That's the moons. Oh wait, did I just take something off though? Yeah, I like I like the idea of her having a map of the earth. And then it kind of comes around this side and it would be cool if it like went down the leg a little bit, but. Kai, can you please change the, change the hair? No, because the hair is my favorite bit. I'm not changing the hair because I love her. <laughs> I love her hair so, so much. I could give her, um... is that taking off anything else? No, it's not. I could give her a face tattoo um, of these little stars. What do you guys think? Her face oil is gone. Yeah, I exchanged her face oil for um, the scar across her face. I think it was a good exchange. It's 20 past four. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm gonna get going in a sec. I'm gonna finish her in a sec. Would you guys want the face tattoo or no face tattoos? No stars on the face. Yeah, I wasn't overly attached to the idea. It was just kind of wanted to see what you guys thought. So I'm happy to take it off. Is it this one? No. Oh no, now I can't find it. Oh, wait a minute, I know what I'll do. Okay, there we go. Gosh, it takes a long time. Hmm. I've got these ones, but... Again, I just don't think it's the right vibe. Mm, no, I don't think these are the right vibe for her. They are really cool. Um... Like, it does look kind of cool. <laughs> But I just don't know if it's the right vibe. What do you guys think? G is playing. I know. We're going to finish. So. There are face tattoos coming with a pack. There are. There actually are. Can you try it with the brown eyes? Uh, oh my god, Claire. People are asking for a wider waist. I know, but I don't think her waist is like overly. I mean, just sorry. It takes so long. Uh, if I go to tattoos, I'll take her clothes off. Like this way? Like this? Uh, when are you looking at the e uh, eco builds tomorrow? Um, her waist is fine. Do you want me to do a poll for the waist? G started playing, I know, okay. <laughs> I will be one sec. Uh, waist, uh, previous size or uh, wider size? See what the, you guys think. Okay, hopefully that's gonna come up at the top. Yeah, it's trying me to move it like here so you guys can see better. There we go. 
Um, the LP smoke tart looks like it was uh, the save caused by the fire. Just let her design her own sims, guys. She can choose to do so. Yeah, like with this one, I kind of have an idea of how I want her. It's less like you guys helping me make a sim and more like you guys helping me do like little um, little bits and bobs. I need your guys' help, but um, I think open smoke is kind of cool. It looks like she's put it on her scar as like a little bit of a reminder, uh, like a little bit of um, a memory thing. Her waist is like mine, I like it. Don't make her look unrealistic. Yeah, but you some people have small waists. I appreciate that some people have wide waists, but some people also have um, small waists. So, um, all bodies are beautiful, exactly. Can you change her hair color? I really like, I'm gonna put it out there, I really like her hair color just the way it is. Um, oh, you guys have voted for previous waist. I think I can just go back. There we go, okay. Um, hair color change. What, so like a more spacey color? Like red or something? I'm gonna do, uh, can you look at our eco builds when you use CC or only maxes? If you use CC and I don't have it, when I tow your build, I, it will all disappear. So I'm just gonna warn you guys uh, that it might hurt your chances because I won't be able to see it. Um, blue, red, blonde, or, um, do we have black on before? We had had dark brown. I think dark brown kind of suits her, uh, her face coloring very well. Yeah, I'm just gonna do th these options. So let me know what you guys think for her. So to remind you guys, um, dark brown, and then uh, blue, and then red. Well, loud out there. And then blonde. But we could go for a more white blonde like that. But yeah, I think that one is probably better. Um. And then after this, we're done with her. So Cecilia Solo, I will be changing her um, aspiration to the Star Wars one. So it doesn't really matter too much what I do here. So I'm just gonna do uh, Archaeological Scholar. And then for her personality, I'm kind of getting the vibe that she's self-assured, like she's got to be confident if she's a space smuggler. Um, also, I kind of vibe that she's gonna have to stay pretty fit to run away from every- oh look, she's posing. Uh, to run away from everyone that's gonna keep, um, she's stealing stuff, she's stealing stuff. And I also kind of need her to be, is there anything that's like cheeky without being outright evil, you know? Or maybe she needs a fatal flaw. Maybe she's actually really squeamish. Nauseated at the sight of violence. No, that won't work. Um, maybe she is, oh, kleptomania, cause she's a smuggler. Boom. You guys are saying dark brown hair, which was the OG hair. Okay, we can always change her hair during the series. She can dye her hair. And we are done! So, we have ourselves a smuggler, the final character for my Star Wars series, which means we are gonna have uh, Kane, we are gonna have Valeria, and now we're also gonna have Cecile. They're also gonna be all in high order, because Kane's tall, uh, Cecilia's kind of average height, and Valeria's really short, so that's kind of cool as well. And they're gonna be um, doing each their own uh, little arcs. I will, I will record that tomorrow. I'm really, really excited to do it. Um, if you guys would like me to upload it onto the gallery, I will do it once I've started playing with her a bit because I always like to like play with her first. I'm a little bit like a little bit selfish. I wanted to do that as first. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of Cecile. Uh, Cecile Solo. Cecile C. C C C C. Cecile C C C C. We'll call her C C. I think she's badass. I think she's an absolute beauty, but we are gonna go and play some Among Us now. So hopefully you guys have in, uh, enjoyed the way that Cecile looks. If you like her, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and hopefully you guys are excited for me to play with her on more Claire Chabon. But for now, let's get ready to play some Among Us. If you're watching this on more Claire Chabon, goodbye for now. Goodbye, thank you so much for watching. Bye.